in today's video i want to show you guys a very exciting way to create a nice typography using canva and this typography can be used for whatever purpose you might have in mind it could be for print on demand shirt it could be for your normal graphic design it could be for social media advertisements and so much more so yeah without wasting much more time let's get right into it so the very first thing you all want to do is you want to head to the site canva.com and please note you can as well do this on your mobile device to so simply do this on your mobile device all you have to do is to go to either your app store or your play store and then search for canva and once you search for it you simply want to download and install it and follow the same process i'll be showing you guys in today's video so the very first thing you want to do after you're in the home page of canva is to come here to create a design now the main idea here is I want it to be a very big landscape template so I'm gonna search for landscape and now once I search for landscape I'm gonna go for the first one over here which is banner landscape and our Canva is going to take us to a blank template of the banner. As you guys can see, it looks very big, which is quite exciting. Now, the next thing you all want to do is to input the text itself. Okay, depending on the style of the font you want, all you have to do is to go for the biggest one over here. Uh, you can as well go for any other one, but then I prefer the biggest one. So I'm going to type in whatever word I want to use. Let's say we want to use CT, for example. So let's say CT. Now, the next thing you want to do after typing in the city is to expand the font, right? You want to make it bigger. Now, once you make it big, you want to take it to the center. Automatically, Canva is going to align it for you. As you guys can see, it's at the center already. And now, once you've made this this way, you can, you know, uh, change the font if you want. Uh, but then for the sake of today's tutorial, I'm going to leave it this way. I'm okay with this font. Now, once you're done and once you've reached this stage, the next thing you want to do is to come here to elements. And now, once you come here to elements, you want to go to shapes and select the square or rectangle. And in case you don't see it here, you can simply just search for it. You can say square or rectangle. But then once you search for it, it's going to pop up and then you just want to click on it. Now, once you click on it, all you have to do right now is to ensure that this shape covers the entire text. So, as you guys can see, I'm going to ensure this covers the entire text. And now, once it covers the entire text, the next thing you want to do is to ensure that the text itself is visible. So, we're going to make the text white in this case. Now, because we're going to be making the text white, you know, the background itself is white. So, we can change it to another color, all right? So we're going to click on the background over here, come here to color, and then let's select something different. We can go for gray over here. And now the next thing you want to do is to change the text itself. Okay. You want to click on the text again, and then come here to color and change it to white. And now the next thing you want to do here is to drag this. All right. We're going to drag this to ensure it covers the entire text. Good. Now, the next thing we want to do is to ensure that we have the text showing. All right. Now, to simply do this, all you have to do is to click on the shape, right click. All right. And if you're doing this on your mobile device, it's the same thing. You want to hold it down, right click, and then come here to layer. Once you come here to layer, you want to go to send to back. All right. You want to go to send to back. So as you guys can see, now we have the shape showing behind the text. Now, this is the first thing we want to get. All right. So now once you've actually achieved this, the next thing you want to do is to download this particular image. All right. Now, we want to download this particular image we just created. Now, to simply do this, all you have to do is to come here to share. You click on share. Come here to download. And then you can download as a PNG file. Now, once you've downloaded, the next thing you want to do is to go to the site, remove the BG or remove BG. All right. And now you want to drag this particular download to remove BG. If you're doing this on a mobile device, it's the same thing. You just want to click on upload image and then upload the downloaded image. Now, once you've uploaded it, as you guys can see, it's going to remove all the white background as well as the normal background. Now, what we want to do next is to simply download it this way. Now, once you've downloaded it, the next thing you want to do is to go back to Canva, click on add page, and then you want to upload that image just downloaded. 
So at the left hand side of Canva, you're going to see upload. Now you want to click on upload and then you want to upload that particular image you just downloaded. So as you guys can see, now we have the background showing inside the city itself. All right. So now just um just to rephrase of all i've been explaining first things first you want to ensure you start with the text you impute the text and then you want to insert the shape all right and once you insert the shape you want to ensure you send the shape to the back all right so as to ensure that the text pops out on top of the shape and now once you've done that all you have to do is to download it and then go to remove bg to remove the background and then come back again to canva and upload the new removed background now once you upload the new removed background you can duplicate or create another page and then drag that removed background text to this place now the next thing you want to do is to come here to elements now depending on whatever uh photo you want to use but then since i'm going for city i'm going to search for city all right so once you go for city you can come here to where you have photos and now once you come here to where you have photos, I, all I have to do here is to just look for a nice city to use. So let's say I want to use this particular one up here. So now once I click on it, as you guys can see, it's going to cover the entire page. So the next thing you want to do is to simply click on it again, come here to layer and then send to back. So as you guys can see at the back of the city, we're already having our design. So then I can decide to uh, make this bigger, the city, I can make it bigger a bit. That's why I actually went for the landscape, you know, from the start. So that's to ensure it's very big. So I want to make it very, very big. All right. And then let's take it to the center. Perfect. Now, the next thing you want to do, the next thing you want to do is to reduce this. You want to trim it. The reason why we're trimming it is because now, because we make it, made it very big, we can't, you know, easily assess the picture itself. As you guys can see, we can't easily assess the picture. So all I have to do to make it easy is to trim this. All right. So I'm going to trim this. I'm also going to trim this over here. All right, I'm going to trim this. All right. Great. Now we also want to trim the image itself. So we want to trim it to align with the shape. We want to trim this. All right. We want to trim this. All right, let's trim it. And then the final one is this. Great. And now as you guys can see, okay, at the top here, we still have something. All right, so we want to ensure we're trimming everything. All right. So if it's still showing this way, you want to ensure it's actually very trimmed. All right, you can simply drag this down and then take this back up. All right, let's take this back up. All right, so now it's perfect. Now the next and final thing we want to do is to simply download this again. All right. We want to download this again, but before we download it again, you want to ensure that the shape color and the background color are the same. So now we're going to have to change this background color to black. All right. We want to change it to black. Now, once you change this to black, as you guys can see, okay, this is still showing. Let's just drag this. We want to ensure that everything is actually clear you don't want the picture to show outside you know you want to ensure everything covers all right so let's see great 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 so we're good this way so as you guys can see you want to ensure that the background of the shape as well as normal background are the same thing and now once you're done with this the final thing you want to do is to download the image again so we're going to come here to share we're going to come here to download and then want to select the page so you can click on all pages and then click on the page you want to download all right and then done and then download now once we've downloaded it the final thing we want to do is to head to remove bg again you can simply drag this if you're using a pc it's quite faster if you're using a mobile device it's still the same thing you simply just want to upload it so i'm going to drop this here and then as you guys can see remove bg is actually going to remove the background for us Perfect. And now we have our city. All you have to do now is to download this. All right. And once you download it, you simply want to come here again to um, Canva and click on add page. And then let's paste this. Okay. Okay. Let's delete all this. So you guys can see we already have our image. All right. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to upload. Let's upload our new removed nice, uh, you know, or nice font. So as you guys can see, now we have our design 
we have a nice design this is it perfect and now we can use this design for whatever purpose you want to use it for it can be a normal you know 3d mock-up it could be on a shirt design you know and several purposes out there so uh that brings us to the end of today's video if you surely learned something valuable and you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe drop a like on the video so as to watch more lovely informative content like this and i'll see you guys in my next highly informative video thanks for watching